Hey guys, it's Cameroon, and welcome back to another video. Now, the game director, Aaron Keller, has made another director's take, and this time there's actual information that I thought would be a good idea to go over. This post focuses on the balance of the game and some specific heroes that will be receiving changes. This video won't take too much of your time, so don't worry. Let's get right into it. Let's address the elephant in the room first. Widow and Hanzo are receiving some nerfs, specifically to their one-shots. Now, for a lot of people, this is great news because there are times where it just feels like you can't do anything against a good Widow or Hanzo. In the post, Widow's damage falloff range will begin from 40 to 60 meters instead of 70 to 100, meaning she'll no longer be able to one-shot 200 health heroes that are more than 50 meters away. This is massive for maps like Havana or Junkertown. For me personally, I'm leaning on the side of liking this nerf, but we'll see if it has major impact once season 5 launches. Hanzo's changes involve him no longer being able to one-shot 250 health heroes because he's receiving a damage nerf. No numbers for it just yet. So if you're a Reaper main, this is a great day for you because now you don't have to worry about Hanzo randomly shooting an arrow and eliminating you. His Sonic Arrow will also be receiving some visual changes most likely to make it more recognizable by the enemy team. Aaron stated that the intention of these changes were to reduce the eliminations where it feels like Hanzo randomly gets them. I think we've all been there where a random arrow just gets shot and you get domed and you're like, what the heck, I'm already dead. Moving on from one shots, Aaron also mentioned some changes coming to Junker Queen and Lifeweaver. Junker Queen has been pretty dominant in the second half of season 4 and honestly I'm not surprised to see her getting a nerf. It also looks like she will not be getting gutted either too, which is great. The only changes that they stated for her though in the blog post was her commanding shout will only give 150 temporary health rather than 200 and her ultimate will take a little longer to build. If those are the only changes, she's still going to be very strong since her biggest strength is definitely the passive healing from her wound damage. Like 2 times health regained is ridiculous and I think that should have been changed, not the commanding shout. On the other hand, Life Weaver will be receiving a bunch of buffs for Season 5. They didn't go into specifics, but they mentioned they want to increase his healing and damage output, reduce his hitbox, add some quality of life changes to his pedal platform, and lastly, I'm not a big fan of this one, add healing to life grip. Yeah, moves that already give immortality don't need healing added to it. Life grip is like Life Weaver's strongest ability, and instead of focusing on improving other parts of his kit, they're doing that and then making Life Grip even stronger. Yeah. I don't like this change one bit, but who knows, maybe it won't be as strong as I think it will be. And lastly, let's talk about CC or crowd control. If you never played much of Overwatch 1, many DPS and support characters had abilities to essentially stop a player from doing anything. You know, like Cassidy's flash grenade or Maze Freeze on her primary. One of Overwatch 2's main goals or philosophies was to cut back on CC, give it mainly to the tanks and remove it from most of the DPS and support. Well, Aaron mentions that the team is softening their approach with it and the changes are kind of crazy. They mentioned that they are planning on reducing Cassidy's magnetic grenade's damage but adding a slowing effect that also blocks movement abilities. That sounds great. If they have a Cassidy, honestly, at this point, just don't play Tracer. Just don't. I can already see what's going to happen in that situation, because if it's talking about blocking movement abilities, you're not going to be able to blink away. And May will also be having her primary get an even stronger slow effect that will last 1.5 seconds. <sighs> I really don't like this, if I'm being completely honest. I'm not a fan of CC, even if the devs for Overwatch consider it to be soft CC. As someone who enjoyed 6v6, I know CC was definitely necessary in that type of game, but it still sucked. Don't get me wrong. But CC or crowd control in 5v5 sucks even more. Like even with it happening less, it's still annoying to be hooked or punched by a doom, right? Yes, we are having more supports with abilities that just straight up remove the effects of CC, but they are annoying too. In my personal opinion, they're adding more of the two most annoying things in Overwatch, CC and immortality. Honestly, I feel like Overwatch is just going to be a game of stun, Cleanse, stun, cleanse, alts, win or lose, team fight, repeat. Hopefully, the CC isn't too rough, but I'm really not liking what I'm hearing about this. Anyways, I know this video wasn't too long and doesn't talk about too many changes, but I thought the changes mentions, especially Widow's one shot and CC, are probably important to talk about. As always, let me know what you think about these changes in the comments below, and if you like the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thank you for the support on my last video, and I will talk to you all soon.